Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Bryce. I'm a visiting student at Lady Margaret Hall studying physics and philosophy. I come from Kenyon College where I'm a double major in physics and philosophy. I've been in Oxford for about a month now, so I feel like I'm starting to get a foothold on how to be an Oxford student. So I want to talk a little bit about my first impressions of studying at Oxford. Part 1. Academics. The structure is quite different and took a lot of getting used to. I'm used to five classes per semester with about three hours of lectures or lab work per class spread throughout the week coming out to about 15 hours of class time per week. But here, I have about seven hours of lectures per week with one or two hours of tutorials. But despite spending a lot less time in class, so to speak, I feel like I'm working a lot harder here. And I think that's due to two factors. First, the work is just harder. In physics, the problems are more difficult. In philosophy, there are more readings, and the readings are generally longer. Second, there's a lot more expected of you in terms of organization and planning. So back home, the lectures are typically tailored to help you complete problem sets or answer certain essay prompts. Whereas here, you're expected to figure things out on your own. I've learned how to approach reading lists and problem sets by breaking them down into daily assignments. It makes them more manageable, but it's still a lot more responsibility than I'm used to. So on to the tutorials themselves. For those of you who are familiar with and have utilized office hours, tutorials feel very much like office hours. In physics, Two other students and I walk through the problem set with the tutor, so asking any questions we have, walking through the more difficult problems together. In philosophy, it's one-on-one. -on -one. We usually start by talking about the major points, then the tutor plays devil's advocate, and I struggle to make some kind of evaluation. Tutorials are definitely as intimidating as I expected them to be, but the tutors know that you're intimidated, so they do their best to challenge you without making you feel like an idiot. And actually, after you get over the initial jitters, I find that they're a lot of fun because you're talking about something that you really love with someone who also loves that subject and also happens to be an expert. Part two, the city of Oxford. Oxford is absolutely gorgeous. Sure, we've all seen pictures, but actually being here, especially being a student here, is just dreamy. All of the colleges that I visited are beautiful in their own ways. However, I was surprised by the number of tourists. Now, I knew there would be some. I mean, I was one back in high school, but they come in massive hordes all throughout the day, and it is pretty difficult to not be a little bit annoyed. Getting around has been more challenging than I expected. I didn't realize how popular cycling was, but after about a week or so, I went out and got one, especially since I'm at LMH, which is a good 20 minutes or so from the city center. It's really nice to have. Traffic laws aren't too different from the US, so after a quick run through online, I felt comfortable enough to hit the road. Part three, the little cultural things. These aren't specific to Oxford. Uh, it's more just being an American in the UK. I still find myself Googling British slang or British English words. I'm finally figuring out which way to look when crossing the street. I'm still not comfortable with the fact that eggs aren't refrigerated and you have to press buttons to open doors. It might not hurt to familiarize yourself with like SI units, the exchange rate, and so on. The drinking culture is quite a bit different too. However, meeting and integrating with British students hasn't been that difficult. A quick final note, one of the most exciting things about meeting Oxford students has been hearing them talk about their subjects. When you make small talk with people, it's pretty average, but when you get them talking about their subjects, you realize why they're here. It seems that to get accepted and do well here, you really need to love your subject, and hearing people talk about something that they love is always a treat. Alright, that'll do it for this video. It's good to finally be on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.